Hi folks, Dom Lawson here in Oakland, California uh, with Machine Head and I'm here with Jared uh, whose experience of this Burn My Eyes anniversary is markedly different from everyone else's I guess because you know this is uh, an album that you didn't play on and you know songs that you've played with a different lineup and stuff so uh, how has it been, for you? how did you feel when this when you know this decision was made and how has it been so far as an experience? Oh, uh, I was all for it. Yeah, I mean, it's a great album. I know, I mean, you could put it in a classic category. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, was their, obviously their first exposure to Machine Head and it's just really kind of, you know, burned its place in history. So, uh, but, you know, it's got great songs and I've, I've l liked the opportunity to play the old songs on tour, but getting to do, you know, now the whole thing as a celebration of this and to include Logan and Chris, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, I was really excited when the idea came around. Yeah, and, and what was it like? I mean, obviously for for Rob and Logan and Chris, they've they've clearly they've played before, although it was a long time ago. But uh, and it must and they've all said it was a strange experience to be playing together again. But what what were you observing when when you were in that scenario for the first time? Um, well, I mean, it, it seems fun to me. I feel like th there's there's some fun in the air, you know, getting to play these songs the way they felt that long ago, you know, and to include guys, you know, with with a lot of history, uh, but. Uh, I mean, Logan and Chris had said they hadn't played these songs in, you know, 20, 25 years. I mean, pretty yeah. much since the record. So, uh, you know, and then me getting the chance to play a few of the songs that I haven't played before. So we were all kind of revisiting it and figuring out the parts and where, you know, what goes where and, and feeling out each other's playing styles and things like that. So it's been, uh, I mean, that's a fun challenge for me. Yeah. You know, getting the opportunity to, you know, uh, for instance, with Chris, you know, to figure out how to play with a with a different drummer, yeah, and such like that. So, as a musician, it's a uh, it's it's an interesting and and fun challenge for me. It, it must be because obviously Dave, you know, an amazing drummer, and you, but you've been playing with him for for years Absolutely. and years, um, and clearly Chris, an amazing drummer too. And they're playing the same material, and and in some ways playing it more or less the same, mm -hmm. you know, on paper, I guess. Mm -hmm. But but the feel is completely different. Does this? Yeah, absolutely. Is this like I don't know. A different machine head for you, you know. It's <laughs> uh, actually, yeah. I mean, it kind of is. It kind of is. And I, um, when I think about it like that, um, you know, I definitely uh, I see, you know, all, a lot of the comments. You know, when people still talk about, you know, machine head at, at any time. You know, it all, a lot of it comes up. Burn my eyes, Logan, Chris. You know, yeah. and also Adam too, of course. Yeah. Um, so it is. It is. It's just like a. Yeah, it, it is a little strange. It's like being, you know, being taken back in time a bit, you know. But everybody's like wiser for it, and uh, but still, there's that little, that little spark in the eye from from that captured moment, you know, way back when. So uh, that's really cool to see. But there seems to be this huge air of positivity around around this, you know, having seen you guys jamming and just, you know, just chatting to Chris and Logan how they feel about the whole thing and seeing the big smile on Rob's face, uh, just. Has that been a particularly satisfying part of it? Because you know you've had tough times to go through and uncertainty, and now mm -hmm. it feels like a transformed mm -hmm. <laughs> situation. Well, um, I think the idea is that it's a celebration, bitches. Yeah. You know? <laughs> this, you know, like I said, this is an album that is really powerful for a lot of people, and you know, and we still hear it, you know, all the time now. That you know, the diehards are like, ever since that first note of Davidian. And they were stuck, and they've been here with us ever since. So, um, but getting to celebrate like just that, you know, that first explosion of just the fucking the rage and the spit and the fucking bile and the drugs and the fucking violence and stuff that captured, you know, just you know that moment in Oakland, uh, and uh, I, I haven't really seen anything like it. Right. So, uh, but like I said, the, it, the focus is that it's going to be a celebration. It's going to be fun. You know, a lot of people are going to be really excited. You know, so bring your, you know, your head banging and your fucking screaming voices, and let's do it. Because so, obviously, over the years, you've played, and like you say, you've played songs from Burn My Eyes at every show because it's not an album that you, the band <laughs> could ignore at any point. That wouldn't go down well. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever been kind of observed particular reactions? For, I mean, obviously, Davidian is a big anthem, and that's always going to get a good reaction but do you think those songs in a way with Machine Head it's unexpected songs that get an amazing reaction and those are, yeah <laughs> but I think with something like this you know because it's it's a big focus for this you know right now and obviously including Logan and Chris 
Um, I mean, that's going to be what a lot of people are going to come to see, you know, Mm. and they're prepared for that and they'll know the songs and they will be ready to hear songs, you know, that they haven't heard before or Mm. that they haven't heard in, you know, X amount of years. And I think that's going to be, you know, little gems like that I think is really cool. And I think people just get super excited for things like that. Yeah. And and something I've spoken about with, with everyone is that, Although Burn My Eyes isn't quite, quite a political album, it certainly has elements of, you know, it's a very personal album, an angry album, but it, it, it speaks of so, the, you know, the society that surrounded the band when, when mm-hmm. the record was, was made. And somehow it seems, you know, certain songs seem really pertinent to do that today. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it, it, all these people that are like, I don't like politics and my metal. And like, no, man, like, have you ever listened to metal? <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, not everybody does it, but... You, can, you know, oh, I don't like politics and metal. Just, okay, well, you know what? That's kind of what metal's for. It's because it's about shit that pisses you off. Yeah. Okay? Whether it's in your mind or whether it's, you know, in your surroundings. So, yes, there, there is that political edge from back in the day because, you know, coming out of the 80s, you know, I went through it too. Fucking my dad lost his job and, you know, struggled for a bit. So, um, but it absolutely, it has, it has that edge. I think at the time... It wasn't such a big deal. I mean, because you know, in you know, in the realm of you know, with Rage Against the Machine, who was like you know, ultra political. Yeah, of course. I think maybe at that point they were kind of like taking the brunt of that, like you know, but uh, but you know, and and then kind of you know, relating that to the feelings now, you know, with everything, a lot of things feeling really divided, you know, uh, and the point is everybody's hurting. Yeah, you know, but we get the chance to put that into some music and fucking share it with people. And then they're like, oh wow, yeah, I get that, you know. Everybody's hurting too, whether it's, you know, the fucking bank or your mom, yeah. or, you know, whatever, anything. Uh, but, you know, but that political edge is there. So I, I don't know what people think when they say that they weren't into it, you know, and they're like, oh, yeah. we're, like, oh like they're surprised. No. Yeah, m- most of the best thrash metal records are heavily yeah. political, Absolutely. fact. Yeah. <laughs> and I also think it's something about, um, Something I, th- I'm, I know as a fan, I appreciate, and I know the fans appreciate in general, is the kind of fearlessness that Rob has, and the, the honesty, and that you know, back then obviously he was writing about things in a you know in a slightly more stripped down way because he was a younger man and you know not as mature emotionally and all that kind of thing. But even you know on Catharsis songs like Bastards, which or Bastards, so say, mm-hmm. <laughs> depends yeah. how you want me to say it. Um, you know that kind of thing obviously was very polarizing, but I, th- I think the fans appreciate that he has the balls to, to do that and does it because it's it's something that's important, not because he's trying to, you know, make virtue signal or any of those kind of things. It's, you know, things that are actually important to people. Yeah, it is. And and it's and and I think that's one of the things that I mean, like you said, like it's one of the things that people love about this band is, you know, Rob's just no filter and just straight to his point and he and he says what he feels and, you know, he thinks really hard about it. I see it you know, when he writes lyrics and, you know, I know there's that thing in there. He's like, you know, should I say this or how do I say this? And, you know, and that's just part of the, the writing process and the expression yeah. process for music and art and all those things. Like, you know, how far, you know, how much do you need it, you know? Like, and you just put it all out there, yeah. open and raw. So um, I think a lot of people... Uh, can really appreciate that and, and can want to try to emulate that in their own lives, in their own honesty, in their own interactions and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it, I think it's something a lot of people really appreciate, you know. So something that a lot of people really don't appreciate as well, <laughs> which is one of those things that yeah. you just kind of have to take with it, you know. I mean, yeah. he knows. He's, he's no stranger to that. He knows. He's like, he's, he's like fucking some, a bunch of people really fucking hate me. And he's like, I'm just going to do what I got to do. Yeah. That's the only way you can be with it. Exactly. There's, there's, uh, being loved and hated in equal measure is a good sign that you're doing something right, I think. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Well, well, just as a final question, obviously, you know, you've, you've toured heavily with the band for years now. Um, what are you most looking forward to about this tour? Because it's new territory for you as well. Yeah. It? Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'd love to see, I want to see people's reactions to, you know, I really want to see their reaction to this whole Burn My Eyes section and yeah. seeing the songs with Logan and Chris. I think it's going to be really special for a lot of people. You know, the same hands, you know what I mean? Like, there's yeah. something about those same hands, you know? You can play, again, like you said earlier, you can play the same part, and, you know, it sounds completely different because of, you know, who's playing it, of course. It's, yeah. That's just 
how the music works. But I think it'll be, you know, really exciting for people to see that and uh, to kind of, you know, take them back to the first time they ever heard or saw Over My Eyes, you know, on tour or anything like that. So I'm looking forward to see people's reactions, you know. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Just when Chris lets that first roll go at the beginning of Davidian, you just. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It, when he did it the other day, I was like, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hasn't sounded like that since. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a jolt to it. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, that's brilliant, man. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Appreciate it.